Well, spring sports, they are in full swing and kids already in spring training for fall sports. Unfortunately, the CDC reports more than 3 million children are treated in emergency rooms each year for sports related injuries. Dr. Katie Stordahl, ER physician at Children's Hospital joining us now. We appreciate you coming on a very Thank timely you. topic. Uh, let's talk about the most common season or spring sports injuries that you see. Well, throughout any sports season, there's really three types of injuries that we see. The first is concussions. Those can be quite severe, so we always are concerned about concussions in kids. We also see many fractures, mm -hmm. and along with that, you may have ligamentous injuries with sprains, and then we see many cuts or lacerations. We do quite a lot of suturing during the warm months and during sports seasons. All right, so what are some, some things folks can think about before any of that happens as far as protection? Number one is that you always wear your helmet, your cleats, your shin guard, whatever is the protective equipment for that sport. It needs to be in good working order, probably new for the season, not a hand-me-down. And we need to make sure that if kids have any concerns that they have been injured with a concussion, that they get right to their sports trainer. I think school systems are doing a great job these days. There's been so much education about sports injuries that most school systems are associated with a sports trainer mm -hmm. who can see children right away and then make sure that they get plugged in to either an ER or an outpatient physician appointment. If you don't have that expert on hand, mm -hmm. talk more about the response and when you need to see a professional, when you need to go to the ER. So concussions happen when you've hit your head and you've had any sort of alteration with your sight, with your hearing, with your speech, with your thinking. Most people think of concussions meaning that you have to pass out or lose consciousness, and that's actually not true. A concussion can happen when you're still walking, but you're dazed, mm -hmm. or you're seeing flashing lights, or you're hearing ringing in your ears, or you start throwing up. Any of those signs are concerning that a child needs to be seen right away. If a child has a concern for a sprain, they're limping, that's not getting better right away, mm -hmm. they probably need to see, be seen within 24 hours to judge is that a sprain or could it be a fracture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then any cut that isn't responding to pressure or a dressing on it, so it's still bleeding in 15 or 20 minutes after you put a dressing or you mm -hmm. put some pressure on there, that needs to be seen or if it's wide and gaping, because those are probably lacerations that need to be sutured. All right, Dr. Stordahl, thank you so much. Great information for thank parents you. during this sports season. Thank you. All right, mm -hmm. and more Live at 5 at 4 coming up right after this.